Millions of Muslims from all over the world are making their way to Makkah for Hajj. The word Hajj literally means pilgrimage. It is a five-day religious journey that takes place every year during the last month of the Islamic calendar. All Muslims who are physically and financially able to perform Hajj must do so at least once in their lives. Hajj is a once-in-a-lifetime trip and an opportunity to fulfill one of the five fundamental duties of Islam. The other four are profession of faith in one God and Muhammad as his last prophet, five daily prayers, compulsory charity, and fasting during the month of Ramadan. The pilgrimage requires tracing the steps taken by Prophet Muhammad, who performed the first Hajj more than 1300 years ago. The first step happens before pilgrims even arrive in Makkah. It involves entering a state of ihram. This means getting mentally and physically prepared for the journey ahead. From this point on, men cannot wear any clothing with stitching on it. Women can wear stitched garments but cannot cover their faces. Once you are in Makkah, you must perform tawaf. This is when pilgrims circle the Kaaba, a cube-shaped building in the middle. Tawaf is done counterclockwise seven times at both the very beginning and the very end of Hajj. It is important to note that Muslims around the world face the direction of the Kaaba when they pray, but they do not worship the Kaaba. Next up is Sa'i. Pilgrims walk back and forth between the two hills of Safa and Marwa seven times to re-enact the journey by Hajar, the Prophet Ibrahim's wife, as she went between the two hills in a frantic search of water for her infant son, Ismail. Today, Muslims pace between the two points in remembrance of the miracle whereby God caused a spring called Zamzam well to appear underneath the exhausted mother and her child. From there, it's on to Mina. The city of tents is just five kilometers away. Pilgrims must recite prayers and spend the night in the valley where Prophet Ibrahim stoned the devil as the devil tried to tempt him to defy God. The climb to Mount Arafat is next. It is this hill where Prophet Muhammad gave his final sermon. Praying on the hill is considered the peak of the pilgrimage as Muslims spend time in quiet worship and contemplation of God. After Arafat, pilgrims descend to Muzdalifah, which is the south of Mina, and collect pebbles to perform the last rites of Hajj, which is stoning the devil. Rami al Jamarat is a symbolic ritual in which pilgrims throw pebbles at three walls called Jamarat in Mina. The last step of Hajj is the final tawaf. Pilgrims return to Makkah from Mina and walk around the Kaaba. Eid al-Adha, also called the Festival of Sacrifice, marks the end of Hajj. The three-day festival is celebrated with a ritual sacrifice of a sheep. The meat from the slaughter is then given to feed the poor and the needy.